Welcome to Paradise TV. I'm Bill Wood. And I'm Carly Wegner. We are here at the Imaginarium Science Center where it is a busy day here today. A lot going on. Mm -hmm. You may hear the kiddos. They're learning about dinosaurs mm -hmm. and hurricanes. There's even a Fox 4 TV studio here. <laughs> You'll see it. You'll love it. Let's go ahead and get things started tonight. In tonight's show, we're going out to sea and out with a bang. Taking a big bite out of a $75 burger and volunteering with kids from around the world. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Spring <laughs> training is officially underway in paradise. And Florida hosts more than a dozen of the teams from the Grapefruit League, the Boston Red Sox, the Minnesota Twins. Both of them train right here in Fort Myers. Paradise TV checked in with the Red Sox and their fans in their home away from home, affectionately called Fenway South. The boys are back in town. Ah, yes, the boys are back, the park is open, and the fans are excited. Oh, Sox! <laughs> I think the Red Sox are going to go all the way this year. Welcome to the Boston Red Sox open house at JetBlue Park. It is a chance for fans to check out the field. Our green monster is 43 feet tall, whereas in Fenway Park, it's 37 feet. Meet players, watch batting practice, and feel the outfield grass in their toes. It's fantastic. It's, it's a great park, a uh, great place, and I really like the idea of uh, letting all the kids out here on the field so they can uh, intermix with all the players and everything. This is, uh, this is fantastic. I like it. I want to play. Give me a glove. We love the Red Sox because they're a great team to watch and very exciting team to, to watch play. So exciting to watch, it even brings out the competition. Come down here to see what my Yankees are going to be up against this year. Looking good out there, I gotta say, a lot of nice young new players. The park is fantastic. And the park is something everyone loves, even the players. They did a great job building JetBlue Park last year. Um, it's really interactive, get to see the fans a lot, and uh, they come out and support us, so it's been great. And that's the truth. It's the fans who are really stepping up to the plate to make the game, the team, and the park that much better. I've been a fan since I was a kid. I mean, I just, no matter who they have and how bad or great they are, you're always a fan. It's kind of like been passed down family-wise. My father was a Red Sox fan, his father was a Red Sox fan. Something you're kind of born into. And whether you are born in Boston or right here in Southwest Florida. Cheese. Cheese. Go Red Sox. Say, go Red Sox. Go Red Sox. We can all agree, paradise is a perfect place to play ball. The Red Sox will be playing the New York Yankees this weekend, just in case you want to take me out to the ball game. Yeah, and I also wanted to mention the Rays, by the way, Tampa oh, Bay yeah. Rays, their spring training here in Southwest Florida in Charlotte County. And I know the Red Sox, you were hanging out with some uh -huh. of them and some VIPs, a little special event. I had the honor of emceeing the eighth annual Evening with the Red Sox dinner and auction. Guests were treated to autograph signings and silent and live auctions. One of the hot ticket items, the ultimate Fenway Red Sox experience with a trip for four to Boston and seats at two Red Sox games and a stadium tour. The event held at JetBlue Park benefits the Boys and Girls Clubs of Lee County. Everyone here in Lee County, they really support the Boys and Girls Club and I, I encourage more folks to come out and see how you can get involved because I promise you if you invest in our children today, you will have a much brighter future tomorrow. The event raised more than $100,000 which helped the Boys and Girls Club in serving more than a thousand local kids and teens. While you were out there having fun, whining and dining with the Red Sox, I took a little bit of time to smell the roses. As part of the Edison Festival of Light, the windows of Bell Tower shops in Fort Myers bloomed with custom flower arrangements for the annual Strolling Flower Show. Shoppers strolled and admired the displays created by the area's best flower designers and members of the Periwinkle Garden Club. Actually, Mrs. Edison was part of this garden club, so we're happy that we can help participate in the tradition of the Strolling Flower Show event. And I think it's great that the various garden clubs participate and have for many, many years. And I think we as community members really appreciate their participation on a continued basis. For more on this event or anything on Paradise TV, log on to our website, fox4now.com slash paradise. Coming up later on Paradise TV, we check out a burger that'll cost you almost 100 bucks. And we set sail for science and some fun with Professor Kaboom.